Which system should I subscribe, cable TV or satellite TV? This is a very interesting question which lead to very interesting facts. In this video, I, Lord Paddle will try to explain you these systems, after which you could decide which is a best buy for you. Let's start with satellite TV. Its technical term is direct broadband satellite. There are five major components in a satellite system. The programming source, the broadcast center, the satellite, the satellite dish, and the receiver. Direct broadcast satellites used for transmission of satellite television signals are generally in geostationary orbit 37,000 kilometers above the Earth's equator. The reason for using this orbit is that the satellite circles the Earth at the same rate as the Earth rotates, so the satellite appears at a fixed point in the sky. Thus satellite dishes can be aimed permanently at that point and do not need a tracking system to turn to follow a moving satellite. Satellite TV starts with a transmitting antenna located at the uplink facility. Uplink satellite dishes are very large, as much as 9 to 12 meters in diameter. The increased diameter results in more accurate aiming and increased signal strength at the satellite. The uplink dish is pointed toward a specific satellite, and the uplinked signals are transmitted within a specific frequency range, so as to be received by one of the transponders tuned to that frequency range aboard that satellite. The transponder retransmits the signals back to Earth at a different frequency, a process known as translation, used to avoid interference with the uplink signal, typically in the KU band, but some still transmit in the C band, 48 GHz, KU band, 1218 GHz, or both. The leg of the signal path from the satellite to the receiving Earth station is called the downlink. Most of Indian TV channels uses KU band transponder. However, DD channels still uses C band. Each geostationary C-band satellite needs to be spaced 2 degrees longitude from the next satellite to avoid interference, for KU, the spacing can be 1 degrees. This means that there is an upper limit of 360 divided by 2 equals 180 geostationary C-band satellites or 360 divided by 1 equals 360 geostationary KU-band satellites. These are the maximum number of satellites Earth can have such that channels doesn't interfere. The downlink satellite signal, quite weak after traveling the great distance because of the inverse square law. Downlink signal is collected with a parabolic receiving dish, which reflects the weak signal to the dish's focal point. Optical signal received at the focal point is converted into electrical signal, then passed through coaxial cable to cable converter box or set-top box. Cable TV is also a satellite TV. It is generally called as CATV or common antenna television. Basic ideology is that a big efficient receiver dish will provide TV channels through hybrid system of optical fibers and coaxial cables. The concept of frequency division multiplexing is used here. Many amplifiers are also used to enhance the signals as the distance from receiver and subscriber increases. Only difference between cable TV and satellite TV is the type of reception you get. Cable operator have huge receivers in their head offices. Hybrid system of optical fiber and coaxial cables are used to transmit data. There is always a problem due raindrops as wavelength of raindrops can be compared with KU band wavelength. Signal attenuation occur due to this, but it less significant in large receiver dishes of cable operator. Direct broadband satellite can be affected by rain and snowfall until the weather clears out. If you are living in rural area cable operators might not afford to set up receivers there you'll receive poor quality signal over coaxial cables over many amplifiers. So, direct broadband satellite will be best buy here. Cable TV is more useful only in places with bad weathers. If a power failure occurs at the head office of cable operator, entire list cable subscribers are affected by it. People not having weather problems and living in rural area must opt for direct broadband satellite. 